Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thanks for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last video, I showed you how to create a simple predictive app using only the predictive data set that was created from our Click AutoML prediction model that we created in video one. This video is going to focus on the explainability data. This topic can be confusing to some, so please bear with me as I go through the steps and explain what it is and how it works. So let's jump right in. As you recall, after we created the Click AutoML experiment using the recommended algorithm, we deployed the model to be used to create a prediction data set. When we do this, we optionally provide the explainability data, which is known as SHAP data. It basically is a method used by machine learning to explain how much a feature contributes to a model's predictions. It assigns a SHAP value to each feature, showing how that feature affects the prediction. In simple terms, SHAP explains why an algorithm made a specific decision by breaking down the prediction into contributions from each feature. This helps understand what parts of the data were most influential in the final outcome for the prediction. We provide this level of data in the Click AutoML experiment before deploying in the Compare and Analyze tabs to help you see the why prior, but more on that in another video later in the series. Now, there are two types of SHAP data that we include, Prediction SHAP and Coordinate SHAP. Prediction SHAP breaks each chosen feature into their own columns and assigns a positive or negative value range based on the size of the data and how the feature impacts the prediction. If a feature increases the model's prediction, the SHAP value will be positive. If not, it is negative. So with respect to our data, it shows how the features impact the entire order to either be predicted shift late or not. Coordinate SHAP is nothing more than a pivoted version of the SHAP dataset. We provide this as another dataset that can be used to easily analyze which features impacted the predictions the most. So next, let's add the explainability data to our predictive app and create a few visualizations to our dashboard. 